Welcome to Cafe Mutual YouTube channel. Friends, there is innovation all around and the MF industry is no different. There is new category of fund in the market called innovation fund. But what is innovation? What are the opportunities and what are the risks involved in it? Let us understand about innovation fund funds from our ex expert speaker Vinay Sharma, who is equity fund manager at Nippon India Mutual Fund. Vinay has close to two decades of experience in creating wealth for investors. So without wasting any single minute, let me invite Vinay. Welcome to the show, Vinay. Thanks. Thanks for having me here. So Vinay, I would start uh, with a question which is on everyone's mind today. So what is your medium term out outlook on equity markets? So uh, we are the true believer in India's story. We, we believe India is going, uh, is likely to be one of the most equity markets in the world, uh, particularly because India is one of those, uh, you know, high growth spots in uh, the larger economies in the world. There are not many large economies at this point of time, which uh, are projected to grow as fast as India is projected to grow over the next few years and probably our uh, next decade. Mm -hmm. um, and if we talk about just the next two, three years, we, we believe India is in a decent spot because um, Indian housing cycle is doing quite well. Indian capex cycle is doing okay. Manufacturing has picked up and uh, banking sector is in pink of health. So generally, it seems like uh, like things are in good shape. Having said that, obviously, valuations in a certain pockets are a bit stretched now. So investors have to tone down their return expectations. Last three years have been phenomenal from equity market point of view. Mm -hmm. And uh, from here on, I think the equity returns could be more in line with uh, earnings growth and probably a little less because valuations in some pockets are a bit stretched. So just tone down a bit of return expectations, move towards the larger side of liquidity, towards large caps and flexi caps. And otherwise, from a lockdown point of view, India remains one of the most exciting stories uh, in equity asset. Great. Uh, so, when Nippon India Mutual Fund has launched Nippon India Innovation Fund, why sure. are you so optimistic about the innovation theme? So, uh, see, if we go behind the thesis behind this uh, fund, um, you, if, if you look at last 10, 10 to 15 years, we have seen across uh, the world that intangible assets have done much better compared to tangible assets in a lot of equity markets. And NASDAQ is a good representation of that. Uh, NASDAQ has done probably better than most equity mm -hmm. asset uh, benchmarks uh, over the last 10, 12 years. Uh, and the reason behind that is uh, the way business cycles are changing due to technology, due to innovation. Uh, companies that are able to change with times, that are able to change their business models, are able to uh, introduce new products or get into new markets, get into increase their market potential, increase their profitability or or revenues due to uh, all this. So generally, we believe change has become faster, and the change has to be fostered through innovation. And uh, from India's point of view, we believe the time. Uh, for the same in India is here. We are already doing quite, uh, things are rapidly changing in India also over the last four or five years in many sectors. And uh, we believe this this will uh, keep happening in many sectors. Many new sectors will emerge. India will do much better in manufacturing like how we have done in services over the last eight, 10 years. So um, that is why we are optimistic about this theme. And that's why the idea behind launching this fund, the main thesis behind launching this fund. Okay, Vinay. Vinay, but what is the definition of innovation and what are the opportunities in this theme? So, yeah, that's a very good question because innovation is a, is a subjective thing, right? We can define innovation through many ways. Uh, it's a qualitative thing. It's a subjective thing. It's mm -hmm. very difficult to uh, say what is innovation. So how we are defining it, because see, innovation depends on the stage of economics. Uh, mm -hmm. India is a diff at a different stage to what US and China are and a different stage to many parts, other parts of the global economy. So we, ha we, have, we are defining innovation in terms of India and what Indian investors can look up to. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the way we are defining is is uh, innovation is uh, three things, which is introducing new products and services, mm -hmm. uh, changing your processes to optimize your um, operations, mm -hmm. or um, third is changing your business model. These are the three things that we are looking for when we are looking at the universe of our innovation fund. So the kind of companies that have proven track record of 
changing uh, their business models over the last eight, 10 years, changing with times, changing with technology, changing with societal trends, changing with economic trends, mm-hmm. all introducing new products to increase your uh, market potential, to increase your revenue, uh, get sustainable competitive advantage, or gain some sort of moat. Similarly, changing your processes to optimize your operation, bring more cost efficiency, stuff like that. So the kind of companies we are looking for are companies across a lot of sectors which have either proven uh, that they have been able to do that over the last 8-10 years or are the companies where we believe that they can do that because they have some sort of technology partner or they are part of some global MNC group or they have access to global capital, global uh, intellectual cap- capability, something of that sort. Mm. So that is how we are defining innovation. Again, political thing, but what we are looking for are leaders in innovation across sectors. That's how we are defining innovation from the point of view for this fund. Okay. And what are the opportunities that you see in innovation space? So again, it's a very interesting question because opportunities, uh, we believe, are multifold and they will keep increasing. And why we, uh, let me answer both the questions. First, uh, opportunities are multifold because a lot of sectors are changing at a very rapid pace. The kind of innovation that we have seen in financial sector, for example, where the creation of Sibyl, creation of NPCI, creation of UPI has changed the financial landscape for the better, uh, probably for the entire country, for the masses, and many new business models have emerged. So this is just one example. Same auto sector is changing because uh, you are giving way to uh, from, from engine, you are moving towards electric motors. Hmm. So all the companies have to change their products, the way they manufacture, the way they market. Everything is changing in auto sector as well. So one innovation is uh, or change is happening in multifold sectors that will keep happening because technology has um, has made change much faster, as I said earlier, that is one. Second, we believe India is at a very exciting uh, point where manufacturing uh, will will uh, keep going for many years uh, and India's share in manufacturing exports, manufacturing share in India's GDP, all of this we believe is on an upward trajectory. And therefore, many new things will happen in sectors that are related to manufacturing. And again, those are the opportunities, like uh, examples as um, uh, energy, where the energy is moving from fossil fuels to renewables, auto, as I said earlier, battery manufacturing, solar, uh, we are talking about green hydrogen, so many things in, in manufacturing. Defense has become very exciting because India is like moving up the value chain in defense also. So, uh, so that's the second big opportunity that we believe India will keep moving up the value chain in manufacturing. And that's where a lot of exciting opportunities will emerge uh, uh, over the next 5, 10 years, 15 years probably. Uh, so manufacturing is a very exciting space to be. Uh, that is the second. And um, sorry, what was the second part of your question? So we are talking about opportunities in innovation. Yeah. So, so one, innovations are multifold. Uh, sorry, opportunities are multifold, as I said, in many sectors. And second, opportunities will keep emerging because as India moves up the value chain, new and new uh, things will will come up. Like, for example, in the last four or five years, we have seen emergence of all these internet-based business models, internet-based payment um, uh, finance models uh, in, in finance business. We have seen emergence of new logistics companies, which are based on uh, based on some of these new algorithms and technologies and stuff like that. And while we have seen some of that happening in public markets over the last four or five years, a lot of things have been actually uh, provided backbone or capital by the private markets in the last eight to ten years. And we believe a lot of them will actually move to public markets over the next four or five years. Because when when these promoters or these private equity players would want to have get an exit or would want to uh, monetize their value, public equity markets are best equipped to provide them the liquidity. So a lot of new things will uh, which have happened in last four or five years. I think again they will grow multifold over the next uh, eight ten years. Probably eight ten years is fairly long term. Probably in the next three four years they will grow multifold, and those opportunities will also come in the public market. So we are excited about everything in the sense that uh, the new uh, sectors, uh, manufacturing, some of the services export, uh, defense, energy, as I said. So in many sectors, uh, a lot of change is happening and those are, those are what we are trying to play with this fund. Okay. So Vinay, as you pointed out that there is a lot of innovation happening across sectors. 
But how will you identify that a particular innovation will have a significant impact in future? So I think that's uh, that's fairly similar to the the way we do research uh, for all our companies, right? When we do research for the uh, for any on any company, we we look at what's the market potential, what could future profitability be, is the management capable enough to execute to achieve that profitability. Uh, and to uh, create value for the shareholders. Are they following all the uh, practices? Are they moving up the value curve? Are they investing enough for uh, their future? The only additional point here that maybe there is an additional call on whether a particular technology will become successful or not. But generally, we have seen um, uh, global models are the very good examples to follow. If a technology has become successful globally, chances are that it will be successful in India as well. Um, and and so you know there are certain we have research analysts who are experts in their own sectors and they can figure out what is the uh, probability of a particular technology or a particular innovation getting successful in the future. So it's very similar to uh, the kind of research we do for all, all of our funds. We don't believe there is anything different here. Maybe there is a slight bit of a higher call on technology as you said, but. Uh, uh, that's, I think, part of research today because anyway, all uh, as I said, a lot of things are changing in all the sectors. So if you're not taking a call on them, it's very difficult to uh, be an equity market player without taking a call on, on things happening in every sector. So uh, I think it's part and parcel of the game. We have been doing this for many years. Um, a team is capable enough to do that. Okay, Vinay, so thematic funds are known for high volatility. So how will Nippon India Innovation Fund offer downside protection to its investors? So first, equity, uh, the risk associated with this fund are similar to any uh, uh, any other equity uh, product. And, and particularly because this is a flexi cap strategy, we can invest across market caps um, and, and we, we would be in, in, uh, investing across sectors. As I said, we are looking for leaders across sectors. This is not a narrow sector fund. Mm -hmm. So we'll be investing in, uh, in, in many uh, sectors. The portfolio would be a diversified portfolio. So to that extent, the risks are similar to a flexi cap or a multi cap equity product. Uh, although this is thematic in nature, but as I said, because there's a presence of diversity of sectors, um, the, the risks are in, in our opinion are similar to, uh, to uh, sort of a product that, that, that invests across um, various uh, market caps and various sectors. Uh, okay. Uh, so, what is the inv uh, ideal investment horizon to invest in this fund? So, again, when we look at equity as an asset class, we always advise uh, our investors to come for at least from a three to five year, year horizon. In equity, um, you know, equity is a product that depends on economic cycles, that depends on corporate cycles. So. So if you want to take, um, uh, if, if you want to invest in equity, please come with a horizon of at least three to five years. And that's what we are saying for this product as well. This is a product which is long-term in nature. You should come with long-term uh, uh, long tenure in, in your mind. So uh, ideally, I would say, uh, please come with a very long-term sort of tenure in your mind when you are investing in this fund. Last question, uh, Vinay. Uh, why should distributors uh, look at recommending Nippon India Innovation Fund to their clients? I mean, any two reasons would work. So again, as I said, this is a we believe this is an exciting product. Uh, 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 this is an exciting team to be uh, to invest in. Uh, this is a product that actually uh, is participating in India's moving up the value chain, both in services and in export and in many sectors uh, over the next uh, few years and probably a few decades. Uh, and and you know uh, the the way countries progress when you move from the stage that India is to the stage that India aspires to be over the next eight ten years, innovation is probably the front runners um, in, in that. Like you have to innovate, you have to uh, increase your productivity, you have to move up the value chain in export, in manufacturing, in services. And this is a team that would like to participate in India's growth story on, on the innovation and on the technology front. So, um, and we other two believe in Indian growth story. So uh, that's a good enough reason to to uh, recommend um, investing in the fund and in the team in general. So, all right. Uh, thank you so much, Vinay, for your valuable time and insights. Thank you. Thanks for having me here.
and finally i thank each one of you for being such a wonderful audience uh, have a great day guys